can't believe we finally got permission to look for ship's 1715 treasure fleet. Don't get too excited. Once you find one of the vessels, we will have to inform the archaeological team so they can take a look at what's down there first. But even if we find part of one of those ships, we could be rich. We could find hundreds of millions of dollars of treasure. When, not if. Negative thinking is never helpful. The technology we have will definitely find us some of the treasure. You're putting a lot of faith into this sub. This sub can sink to six hundred meters below sea level, has remote operated video cameras, sonar and a mobile undersea excavation unit. How can we not find my treasure? Actually the depth gauge doesn't seem to be working. Everything was fine yesterday. Mind if we take a look? Be my guest. Last night's storms must have upset the system. It'll take days to locate the problem and get it fixed. But we don't have days. The paperwork says that we have to be out here at 0900 hours today. And we can only be in the search area for up to 24 hours. I sure hope your map is accurate. You're right. We had to wait months for permission. It'll be next year before we get another chance. It's hurricane season next week. Actually... Judging by last night's storm, it looks like hurricane season is starting a bit early this year. Why don't we come to the depth manually? Good idea. I can command the sub whilst you record the depth. Great! Let's get treasure hunting. All systems here are fully operational. All systems here are fully operational except for the depth gauge. All depths will be calculated manually. What is the current height of the sub? The submarine is currently at six metres above sea level. I'm recording six metres into the log book. Prepare to drop and release the holding ropes. Holding ropes, release. The submarine has been released safely and is currently at a depth of 30 metres below sea level. The sub has dropped from six metres to minus 30 metres, which giving us a total of 36 metres. I'm recording minus 30 metres into the logbook at a time of 0845. That means setting the bearings at 135 degrees, moving at 10 knots. This is Commander Carlton of the US Coast Guard to unidentified submarine. Please identify yourself and your purpose in these waters. Over. Oh no, what can Command Carlton possibly want? All of the paperwork's in its place. <sighs> Out of all of the Coast Guard people to get, why him? Do we have to, have to answer it? We can't ignore the Coast Guard. This is gold find. We have permission to be in these waters. Please check with sea travels. Over. Will do. Shut off your engine and prepare to be lifted out of the water. Unbelievable. Lifted out of the water? He must be having a slow day. <sighs> so much for waiting until we are ready. We are currently at 10 metres above sea level. They obviously don't want us making a run for it. It's right. We were at minus 30 metres below sea level. Now we are at a height of 10 metres above sea level. So we have increased its height by 40 metres. I'm recording the height of 10 metres into the logbook at a time of 0930. I have confirmed your permission to be in these waters and have a local team of archaeologists standing by for any find you may make today. There is a Category 5 hurricane expected to pass through these waters in approximately 18 hours. Include that in your time calculations and check your weather system regularly. Prepare for the holding ropes to be released. Good luck with your treasure hunt. Coast Guard, over and out. Do you think they're going to release us? Maybe in 18 hours. I swear they did that on purpose. Commander Carlton is still obviously angry at us after last year's incident. Let's not waste any more time. With that hurricane coming, we're going to have to take much more time to find the treasure. We are currently at five metres below sea level. I'm taking us down to 120 metres. We're setting out on a bearing of 135 degrees, travelling at 15 knots. 
The sonar is picking something else up. It's a really weird shape and it's moving towards us. Sharks, they are travelling really fast. Must be moving away from that incoming hurricane. We need to adjust our position. No, I don't think it's that. I have never seen anything like it. Change our bearing to 045 degrees and adjust speed to 5 knots. Drop down another 50 metres. So we were at minus 120 metres. Then we are dropping 50 metres, which means we have dropped a total of minus 170 metres. I'm recording minus 170 metres into the logbook at a time of 1100 hours. Direction and speed changed. Um, wait, I'm picking up sandbanks ahead. Okay, bring the sub to a halt and hold position. We're going to have to go round these. Set sub on a bearing of 170 degrees and raise the sub by 10 metres. Okay. Maintain 5 knots. So we were at minus 170 metres and we are going up by 10 metres, which means we are 160 metres below sea level. Direction and speed set. We are now in the treasure hunt area as soon as we cleared these sandbanks of course sonar is picking something else up can you make it out no let's turn on the video cameras underneath the sub and see what they have to show us it looks like a cylinder it's wider at this end than it is at that end in fact it looks like a, a cannon. cannon let's try and get a better look Drop the sub another 50 metres. We were at minus 160 metres. If the sub drops another 50 metres, we will be at 210 metres below sea level. I'm recording a depth of minus 210 metres at a time of 1400 hours. And that we found a cannon. That is definitely a cannon. I'm stopping the sub. I think I saw something on the camera. Um, I'm using the undersea excavation unit to clear the area. We're far too high above the seabed to clear away enough sand from this height. Drop the sub another 25 metres. We were at 210 metres below sea level. If we drop another 25 metres, we will be at 235 metres below sea level. I'm recording minus 235 metres at a time of... Oh, it's 1550. The hurricane will be passing over us in a few hours. We can probably stay out here until 20 hundred hours and travel back at a speed of 15 knots. No, that will really be pushing this up. I know, but look! A bell? A bell from one of those ships? Could it be from the Yacht de Lima? Dave, old friend, I think we've hit the jackpot. Look at all that gold and silver. I've dreamt of this for years, Mike. I know. Set your alarm for 20 hundred hours and let's start to record the position of all this gold and silver. We can send a robot out to collect samples for the archaeologists. We need to work fast. Look at what the robots retrieved. Gold. Silver. Look at all these jewels. Let's see how long longer we can stay down here. Perhaps we can excavate the bell we saw. Okay. Oh no, it's 21.30. Why didn't the alarm go off? We lost track of time last year too. And we haven't kept track of that hurricane. If we need to be rescued from the Coast Guard, they will not be happy with us. They gave us that warning hours ago. Set a course for the harbour, travelling at 25 knots. Raise the depth of the ship by 80 metres. Raising the depth by 80 metres? Okay. From minus 235 metres will take us to minus 155 metres. Set course and speed. I'm recording minus 155 metres at the time of 2135 hours. The good news is that the hurricane's dropped to a category 4. The bad news is that it's coming early. We're going to have to have help from a coast guard to get home. Here it goes, fingers crossed. Mayday, Mayday, this is the gold find requesting assistance. This is Commander Carlton, the 
Oh, why is it always him? You know what this means, don't you? He'll drop the submarine into the water all of next year's treasure hunting season two. He has really held last year's rescue against us. He did miss out on an international drug bust because we ran out of fuel.